Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, Wild Trekker here, and welcome back to Sky Factory. Yes, and uh, we are back, and I've been sorting a few issues out uh, in between episodes, uh, and you might see we've moved a few things around, because we had a single capacitor bank over here, so what I've done is actually using that, I'm using that now for storage, and I've resolved our current energy crisis. Uh, so if you look at there, I've actually got four of these. We could obviously add more, and we can. These are the basic ones. We can make them to the hard ones as well, in theory. So we have got four million RF stored in there, uh, and we could store more because obviously we're not using that much. If you look, there's a red minus, uh, and there's a plus. Uh, green. So uh, if it's minus, it means we're using more energy than we're storing. So look, minus two, minus three. But if it's plus, it means we're storing more than we're using. So it's holding its own. There's no problem. And that's with this uh, pulverizer and sieve going over here. Um, and that's also whilst we've been um, using this as well. So uh, yeah, not a problem on power at the moment. And I've got this just sat there with stored energy. We're not using this one at all. So I'll show you what we've done to tweak it because there's a couple of things. There's a bit of a giveaway here. And that is, first of all, we've changed over to these Ender Energy conduits. Um, I think they are literally putting the power through a lot quicker. So it's managing more RF per tick. So that's an important thing. And I've changed that over on the entire base so that's all running those and you might notice it's not running through here and if we go around the back yeah our lava generators have gone um, so let's have a look and see what's producing all that power now we had uh, I believe around about um, I want to say 24 um, crucibles and here we go so we had about uh, not quite as much as we got here, probably a quarter less, but we certainly had three of three rows of these, so uh, we had a fair few crucibles. However, it wasn't producing enough energy, and here, if we look at this, this lava generator is full, 800,000. This one, however, it's just, this is the one that's topping up upstairs. Uh, so that means we've got enough power that we don't even need this one. Um, but we've got it. Now the great thing about these conduits that we're using here, the, the fluid conduit, so we've, we've changed those over as well, um, they allow us to add direction. And one of the things that was happening previously is that lava was coming out of one of these and going back into another one, whereas these we can actually right click on them, uh, if we've got an empty inventory slot, and we can say uh, extract, insert, disable, in and out, um, you know, we can decide. So we're doing extract and we're basically we can choose whether there is redstone activating it or not so uh, so yeah these are all power on that and I've set up my own individual cobblestone generator to basically power that now this side I think is probably not getting enough cobble that's the, that's the challenge with it so what I'm going to do is set a second cobblestone generator here so break that so it's not doing it because as soon as I break this um, it's got enough cobblestone to go everywhere. So the other thing I could do, and I don't think I have, is put a, a speed upgrade in here, and then that, that might distribute it quicker. So that, that's another option as well. Um, but this is full, so we've got loads of uh, lava in there. So I might put a second tank or second drum there to store lava just in case, and then we can do the same the other side, but again, this one is just just holding its own really so um, yeah I might play with that and literally mirror what we've got there so break this and literally mirror add an extra couple of barrels and we're probably pretty good so uh, and the way I've done it as well is all our energy uh, gets stored in these capacitor banks so as you can see on the back here I've got all that capacitor bank going in and if we come over here and you can see the little arrow is selecting to say go in and then anything I'm using is using this so you can see it's on extract mode the arrow is pointing that direction and that literally powers everything it powers all my stuff it powers my mob farm over there uh, powers those um, 
units in there powers everything underneath here and we've got another cable going around here which is ready to set up for the farm so uh, yeah that's going to run off in that direction as well because that's obviously going to be something else we're going to add to it so uh, yeah that's kind of my power issue sorted out because the one thing I wanted to do was sort out my energy before I start looking at ME and the AI and, and storage so if we just go through here quickly I've done a couple of modifications and started using these caches because we're just getting overflow with storage really so um, but that is a short-term thing I think I really need to start looking at ME but I, may, I just wanted to make sure I had power before we did that so uh, yeah I think that's what we'll start doing now is having a look and seeing what we need for this system now before we get started on our uh, system, let's just see if there's other ones of these we should be checking off. Um, so we've still got to craft those seeds and use an angel block of your ability to fly and start a new island somewhere else. Uh, well technically we've done that um, because we've made that island down below where we've put everything uh, on for our... Uh, smelting so yeah we've kind of made another island uh, it doesn't say we have to live there um, okay and we haven't really done the rest of the things there are they so uh, yeah but this is where we're going to be looking at um, a systems uh, applied energist energistics 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 there we go so uh, create an applied energistic systems to store your things and that's what we're going to look at now to do this um, there's going to be a few things we need and that's not one of them um, but one of them is an ME drive now we could in theory uh, create an ME chest which is this thing here um, and that's a bit cheaper to do however I think you can only link eight chests and or eight items including the um, the terminal to to get into the chest um, so it's not really that practical whereas if we actually look at the ME drive it's more like a, a, a drive system as we know a RAID system uh, in the real world and I think that's got eight slots in it that we can put hard drives in and store things but it's a little bit more expensive to actually produce now this is the one thing we're going to have to get into now um, is these processors because there's different types of processor um, depending on what you need and I think there's probably four types let's have a look processor so there's three types there so we have this um, yeah so there's a there's sort of a diamond one I guess it's like an iron one and a gold one um, so how do we make these oh no that's a quartz one so we make it with quartz and we make those with diamonds and we make those with uh, gold so uh, we need quite a few of these especially the gold ones I think they're, they're, they're quite a lot so we meet, need to make an inscriber that's for sure and the other thing we need are these presses so we've got an inscriber logic press there now we ought to really check to see if we've got all these because these things we've been getting from loot bags and we've kind of um, kept so there's a logic press, silicon press, logic press, engineering press and calculation press so I'm guessing we're going to need one each of these and if you weren't playing this on this uh, mod pack if you're playing it say on infinity or um, one of the mod packs these are available I think in meteors so uh, you have to go and find a meteor and you have to find several of them and you find those presses so I don't think there's something you can craft but we've obviously got them um, within our uh, uh, you know sort of goodie bags we get from our mobs really so inscriber is the first thing we're going to have to make um, which is this thing here so uh, we could do that sticky pistons iron ingots and crystals so these things here by the way and I've made a couple already um, so basically you drop one charge citrus quartz certus quartz one never quartz and one redstone dust into a puddle and you basically get one of those um, and I think there's two types because there's this one here as well um, drop a flux seed made from flux dust and sand into a puddle of water we don't have flux seeds um, but you can also smelt those and it'll make it so that's good for this recipe whichever one we actually need um, so let's just look at that again and it was that one we we're going to look at 
So if we have a Certis Quartz, a Never Quartz and Redstone Dust, let's just see if we can do this quickly. I say I've, I've done it before, uh, just to sort of try it out. Um, so is this, yeah, so there's the Certis Quartz Dust. And again, we've been getting this, I'm guessing we've been sifting it, haven't we? Um, and we've got loads of these as well. Um, yeah, which is good, but we've got the charge ones and that sort of thing. Now, let me just check that again because um, I got terrible memory uh, redstone dust, oh nether quartz and certis quartz, so we need nether quartz, nether quartz, nether quartz, we don't need one of those crystals uh, nether quartz is there, let's grab one of those so if we come over here to our puddle as it is, it's not really a puddle, but uh, I believe anything with water, so if we drop that one that one, oh I've got a magnet on turn your magnet off when you do this um, that is probably useful. Nether quartz, redstone, dust. So, those three things together. Are they doing things? They look like they're hopping and floating. I've done that right, haven't I? He says, I've done this before. Um, nether quartz. Certis Quartz, Redstone Dust. And wait a moment. And nothing happens. Certis Quartz, or is it want one is does it want a crystal, not dust? Let's just look at that again. Nether quartz, redstone quartz. Oh, one charge certis quartz. Right, so it needs to be a charged one, which is one of these. Now, these are obviously a little bit rarer, so, um, but I'm pretty sure we could probably find a way of charging them up if we needed to. So, uh, that's the charged one, redstone, nether. There we go, and that gives us two flux crystals, so, um, yeah, that's good. Um, let's see, have a look at that charged, how do we charge one if we didn't have them? Crafted by inserting an uncharged crystal into the charger and powering it. There you go. So, uh, we can charge it, I guess. Does that mean we can charge it in here, for example, if we take one of those? No, it doesn't want to go in there. So it wants to go in a charger. Precharger, charge, crystal ore, redstone charge pad. So there, charge pad, wireless charger. Charger! There we go. Yeah, so that kind of makes sense. So basically, you could make one of these. So yeah, we, we can easily make a few of those and make a charger. So before we run out, we'll probably do that in case we need to get a lot more charged ones up. So uh, make sure we do that. But what I'm going to do now is just get a few items together. So we need need the inscriber. We already know that. We need the um, ME drive. So if we look at the recipe for that again. Um, so that's straightforward enough. We can get hold of some uh, quartz fiber. Yeah, so we've got all that. That's simple enough. It's just getting these sorted out. So for a printed engineering press, we need to make one of those with a diamond and then we also need printed silicon so silicon again um, we can smelt quartz to do that so um, yeah that's simple enough to do and and then we can get our drive now that's uh, just the first part of it there is going to be um, other elements as well but let me get that inscriber together and get those parts together and then we'll come back and look at the rest So in theory, we should have all the materials now to make our drive, and there we go, ME drive. So that's uh, the first part, uh, part one. Let's just pop it down there a second, uh, and you can see what it has is all these drive slots um, to put a load of disks. So uh, let's have a quick look at disks. 
and it's quite a that's not what I'm looking for um, let's have a look at drive again no uh, storage so let's have a look 4k let's go 4k here we go um, storage cells what they called so we've got um, yeah different levels of storage and then um, depending on all right so we've got fluid storage as well so 64k storage 4k storage um, yeah basically the size of these determines how many items you can store but uh, for me I don't think um, we can probably afford the bigger ones ME story let's just have a look um, 64k component which consists of lots of those which is all made from that as you can see there's that the recipes just are very very involved so we're going to stick with the basics for now which is basically quartz glass that and a storage component and the storage component is made of three storage components so we'll have to make four of those plus a calculation processor and again that's basically made from those so very similar to the other one but it's a calculation processor so um yeah i think we'll uh, we'll make that and i guess the difference is yeah it just takes a lot more of these because each one of those takes one of those and it's using a diamond which we could do um what are these made of redstone's our biggest challenge um but yeah we kind of could make those we probably have to make about 15 or 16 of those um yeah i think for now uh, let me get together a 4K because with 4K we have to make just one of those. I think that'll do to start um, because we can make a load of 4K if we have to uh, and upgrade later if we really need to. So uh, I'm going to start getting all those bits together, which again we got the stuff for. It's just the process of doing it. So uh, it's very simple to follow, uh, just laborious to do it. And this is such a pain as well is the fact you can't stack multiple items in there so I guess we could put um, a hopper or something like that above it and you know kind of push things items in there so uh, maybe that's something if we're going to be looking at doing a lot of this um, we look at doing but yeah it's a bit of a boring process sadly because um, you can't put multiple items in there at once which I'd like to do because uh, they stack so um, you know you should be able to do it and we've probably run out of energy on there as well now we've got a bit more coming in, so uh, yeah, let me get this done. Yep, yeah, there we go. I've set it up automated. I got fed up, um, especially with putting multiple things in multiple times, and that seems to be happening. So uh, what I've worked out is this top hopper feeds this top slot, this side hopper feeds the middle slot, and then I've had to use this chest with uh, the transfer node to suck things up through the bottom, and that feeds that bottom one there and it means we can get multiple things done at the same time right so we should have everything we need now hopefully yep there we go one four k storage a few fireworks lovely um okay so yeah we've been banging those achievements away left right and center did we have enough for more than one though uh no, we didn't. We only made one. I was thinking I was going to be making more. So, um, a 4K storage, and we probably will make some more as time goes on, but they are quite a lengthy process. So, in theory, that goes in there, and as you can see, we can add 10 of these drives, actually, and we can add 64K drives as well, So uh, and obviously fluid storage. So, that's in there. There's no light on, though, because obviously this is not powered. Um, Priority, no idea. Okay, so uh, the other thing we will need is a terminal. Um, now, we've got a couple of different terminals because there is a standard ME terminal here and that essentially allows you to uh, access the stuff. And there's a couple of different ways of doing that with an ME terminal. Um, and that's probably the method we're going to use. However, there is also a crafting terminal which is essentially a terminal, but with a crafting table, so um, and obviously a calculation processor. So the next question is, do we have enough to craft this? No, we don't yet. So what are we missing? Probably 
I don't know actually. Let's have a look. ME terminal. So iron glass engineering processor ME. Let's have a look. Have we got glass? Is what we're missing. Okay, so where's the glass? Where's the glass? Oh, I have storage everywhere. I need better storage. Oh yeah, that's what we're working on. Um, right, no glass there. No glass there. No, I turned it all into quartz. That's what it was. Do we have anything cooking? Yes. Way. Right. Let's do that again then. So crafting terminal. Sorry, just normal terminal. Boom. And can we then make that into a crafting terminal? Boom. There we go. And more fireworks. Way. <laughs> cool. Okay, so um a much bigger table. Right. Now I do believe um ME glass cable is that what we use? Or do we use some kind of? I guess that is the uh, the, the cable for ME. Um, dense cable, covered cable. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm guessing glass table cable. So this this is where I start to um, uh, not get unstuck, but don't have the experience in an ME system whatsoever. So I'm in theory, I got a feeling that. Um, you take one of these and you stick it on one of these and that gives you access to your terminal yeah so that gives you access to the storage uh, and your items but obviously this is not powered so um, that doesn't really help things so what I'm going to do is try and just set this up somewhere um, in terms of power and see if we can't I hope that came in it did <laughs> and uh, yeah see if we can get it working so I don't know if we can power it from that or do we need additional power and do we have any other cables uh, they're gonna be in here somewhere no no we've got those all right let me look for these and I'll see if I can get this set up and show you guys what I've done so there is one other thing I think we need, which is actually the uh, ME controller. So I did forget that. And again, there's a couple of recipes for this, but we've got enough stuff there. And I think this is that pretty coloured one. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks really good. So again, I don't know if that's going to power itself next to there. Probably, yes, there we go. And that is on. So does that mean this is going to work if I add this to it so where's my cable I've got my terminal have I used the cable I think I've used the cable in making something or have I have I left it out here uh, nope no nope. you're probably face palming now quartz fiber Oh, can't find any more cable. I think I must have used it in crafting something, or I've put it away somewhere. So which means I need to go and make myself another one. And there we have it. There's our ME system. Uh, essentially, we've got one drive in there at the moment. 546 out of 4,000 bytes used. So we're definitely going to have to make some more drives. Um, but yeah, when we go in the terminal, I've put a few items in there, but I think that's going to fill up pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we can essentially put whatever we like in there, and we can put everything in there, uh, which is pretty handy. But um, I've also linked it up here. You can change your search box mode. Um, and so standard search, any I synchronized auto, synchronized standard so uh, I think synchronized auto is what I need so if we type in something here not only does it bring it up there it brings everything up into there as well so it, it kind of um, so for example we got a generator um, if we click on that we should then be able to click and pull it in there I think that's the way it works not sure about the standard yeah it kind of changes it a bit doesn't it but Auto, so I'll leave it on that. I think that's the one I need anyway. Um, but as you can see, I start putting items in there. But I think that means um, that if we're using 830 of 
4,000. We are going to fill this up really, really quickly. So uh, what I need to do is to make a few more drives and maybe work towards the um, bigger capacity drives because I'm guessing the uh, 64K, let's see if that brings it up, um, 64 ME storage cell. So um, it needs a 64K storage component and then that is made up of 16K components. So does that mean we've got some in between as well? So we've got 4K, 16K, and we've got a drive for 16K. Oh, we have. Um, and is that made up of 4K drives, controller? Actually, that might not be so bad. Um, yeah, that might be doing it. So have we got any of those already? Did I make any of those? I've got one 1K one. K one. Um, yeah, so we could do with making some more 4K ones to make some 16s perhaps. So uh, that's something I've got to do. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is reposition this. This is not where it's going to be sat. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is to remove this area here and extend out our lab um, into this area kind of thing. So we'll we'll kind of grow because in theory we don't need these. We should be able to move them all. Um, in fact, there's my dolly. And yeah, so if we start moving these, uh, because in theory all this can go into the storage system, I think we're just going to uh, run out of storage very, very quickly. Um, with the way it's set up at the moment, 800 out of, yeah, so we're, we're kind of uh, almost full there, or we're, well not full, but a quarter full of that. So we, we need some bigger drives, and then I'm going to look at getting all this moved. Well, I think we've just about run out of time for today, but before we go, I just wanted to show you a few things of what we've been up to up here, for starters. Um, as you see in my hand, I've got Essence of Redstone. Uh, something I worked out is actually we can grow redstone because I've been really, really running out of it. So these crops over here, as you see, are redstone seeds. So I've worked out that these magical crops, we can grow lots of different things. Um, so yeah, if you look up at seeds, we've got all these different types of seeds. So we could have gold seeds, iron seeds, but redstone seeds, it's simply a recipe with existing redstone, um, these uh, essence and some seeds. And then they're made from the orange one and these infusion stones. And the infusion stones are basically, they start off like this um, and they, they sort of work them up basically so you can get everything from these um, and the essence but again we've been getting the orange one anyway and there you go see there's a redstone one there grown and then from that we get the seed back and now we've got three of these and when we get nine of these they craft and I forget how many they craft into now um, let's have a look here essence of redstone there we go well, actually, let's look at redstone. That's probably the easier thing. Redstone. Uh, so if you look at that, nine of these makes 24 redstone. So that's a pretty good trade, I would say. So we really need to get working on our uh, farms next time, get the auto farm up and running. Uh, but this is what I've done down here. I, just, I said I was going to take all this out and I have apart from a little bit up here so we're slowly expanding out but I've moved and set up my ME system here uh, and what I did was to make two um, capacitor banks so these here are the basic capacitor banks and they hold uh, 1 million RF each so that's 4 million with the four of them and then this one here I've got two of them because there's one behind there as well and they hold 5 million each so I've got 10 million RF so this unit here is powering all this and it's also powering this little bit over here and the rest of the stuff and the power is coming from here at the moment so um, yeah I kept the two systems separate because this one is pretty vital if this runs out of power I can't get my stuff so uh, yeah and that'll be pretty crucial I think so let's pop those in there get rid of those bits so everything go in here now I've actually got a full set of drives now because as you can see it's amazing how much stuff we collect I think just that one's empty 
that's got 17 out of 63 types, 25 out of 63. So in theory we've probably got two empty ones because those are sort of cross-section, 57 and 63, but it's only a 4K. So the actual 16K is really the amount of items of each one you can keep. Um, yeah, so uh, the 4K ones, yeah, they're okay, but that filled up very quickly. But it's still 63 types. Unfortunately, you can't get any more than 63 types. But that should do us for now because it means we still have got about 100 odd types to get. And I don't think got 100 odd new items uh, to go in there, but I think that looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and then I moved this uh, inscriber setup here. And what I've done is so this chest here feeds the middle and this chest here feeds the bottom this chest here feeds from the top and then this chest pulls out uh, from that side so we've got the three ways of going in and one way of going out and then there's simply a cable behind there attached to this capacitor so uh, yeah that's how I've set all that up but it means that we can put stuff into these chests have it running loads and then it'll automatically output into there and that saves a lot of time especially when making these things because yeah you need quite a lot you need um, a lot of the different uh, circuits so that's set up and handy, uh, ready for there really. So uh, yeah, it's kind of all set up. Let me just show you here. This is now our way out. Um, and then you can just see the back of it. So we've just got that cable going in there. But also what I did was to set up the mob system. Um, so that's going down the bottom there. And let's just quickly show you that how all that is fitting in because all that is going into the system. Okay, so let's go down. And yeah, so there's the mob pipe coming in and it goes into this chest here which as you see is empty so the whole thing is dealing with it and um, what also is coming in is the sieve is coming down this one and is also going into that chest and then also my smeltery I've moved that so anything coming out of the smeltery then goes along this pipe which goes under here and into that chest and then and you can see something went in there now and they're going out again so as soon as they come in they're going out um, not the fastest but it doesn't really need to be it's, it's coping with it no problem at all and you can see we've then got that cable um, on the on the back there with an export bus export bus import bus yeah we've got to import into the ME system so we're exporting to just but importing to the ME system so again that's just the pipe then that goes along and let's see if we can see around the back here yeah that just literally goes into the back of the drive so that's going into that um, ME drive there and fills it up so anything could go into the system as well so uh, a bit of a strange setup there could have gone straight down um yeah so uh, that's pretty good but i say next time i think we really need to start working on uh, crops and not just a little farm like this i think we need to make a huge huge farm for the magical crops set up this um auto farming station and then we will be having um redstone for days and anything else that we want to um to get really so we start moving on those things so uh, there we go so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode guys it's been a lot of fun playing around with some new stuff that i've been played around with for a long 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 time so uh yeah thanks for watching don't forget to leave me a comment and don't forget to click on like if you haven't already so uh, my name is wild tracker and we'll see you all soon bye bye for now bye